Well, another year, another Liam Neeson movie. But is this movie worth watching? Let's talk about that. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Movie Emporia's movie review of Marlowe, the newest film from director Neil Jordan. So based off the character that is created by Raymond Chandler, uh, this story, which is actually written by John B Banville, is called The Black-Eyed Blonde, sees the story of Philip Marlowe, the famous private eye detective in the, the, fi the fiction stories that uh, Raymond Chandler wrote, uh, basically investigating the murder of this individual named Nico, who worked for this place called Pacific Film Studios in the 30s Hollywood system. And in the process, he's hired by uh, this person played by Diana Kruger to find Nico. He, she still believes that he's alive, even though he's dead. And of course, like, uh, you know, films that are neo-noir films like this or maybe Chinatown, the bigger mystery starts to unfold and it comes, you know, he starts to come in, the Marlowe character starts to come in contact with people played by Jessica Lange, Cole Meany, uh, Alan Cummings, Ian Hurt, stuff like that. And it basically leads to this bigger mystery that, as you kind of are aware, if you've seen these types of movies, is much more than the kind of surface level stuff that is happening. So it becomes a bigger mystery with a more interesting payoff in a lot of respects. So, of course, Philip Marlowe is a very famous fictional character at this point. He's a character that has been adapted into many movies and many stories and, you know, many stories not written by Raymond Chandler. This one is written by John Banville. Uh, he's very much the antithesis of a kind of what you would see the jumping off point for other characters and other stories, Chinatown and stuff like that. So them making another adaptation is like similar to like making like a Christmas story or something like that. There's no, It's not really that surprising. The question remains, is it any good? You know, you have Neil Jordan coming back to direct he of course he directed that really unfortunate film Greta you have Liam Neeson coming in to play Philip Marlowe which is an interesting choice because of how old you know Liam Neeson is but he's playing a much older version of this character and then you like I said you have a bunch of other actresses and actresses and actors in this movie that are you know different levels of fame and stuff like that so once again the question remains, is this movie worth watching? Because once again, you know, this is a film that, you know, I was interested in seeing. Liam Neeson is not a bad actor. These films aren't bad that he's in. It just was this worth watching, especially in February. And so for my for my review of this movie, um, I think it's a perfectly fine movie, to be fairly honest. I think all the people in the movie are, are good. They're entertaining. They're well-worn as actors and actresses. They know what they're doing. It's a movie directed by Neil Jordan, so it's a very beautiful-looking movie. That's the only one problem I didn't have with Greta is the fact that it was a very a very good-looking movie. It just wasn't a very good movie. Here, I think, it's, I think Neil Jordan does a much better job of just allowing the story to enjoy upon itself to do what it needs to do. And like... Like I said, Liam Neeson is Philip Marlowe. It's a weird take, but like I said, it's it, he does a pretty competent job. He has fun with what he's doing. I think Liam Neeson's at a point in his career where he's doing a, he's doing what he wants when he wants, and he doesn't care what people th think. To be fairly honest, but you know, here I think he's just he's having fun as a private eye detective of a famous you know fictional character. You know, I think everybody else, including like I said, Jessica Lange and Diana Kruger and Ian Holm or Ian, I think it's Ian Hart. I'm sorry, Ian Hart and uh, Colmini. Alan Cummings. I think Alan Cummings is pretty fun in this movie um i think they're they're all doing a competent job i think that's where this movie strengths lie is in the acting and the acting abilities of the actors and actresses i just don't think the story kind of holds up very well which is a problem i think it kind of loses steam as you kind of start to learn the central mystery and what's going on i think what made chinatown and like who framed roger rabbit in LA Confidential works so well is not that the central mystery was like the greatest in the world. I think as it moved along, the story got more and more interesting and more entertaining as it unfolded, which I don't think happens here. I think you kind of kind of see where the story is going. You see what's happening. And once it concludes, I think there's, there's a lot left on the table that could have been fun. I think there's pieces and parts that were taken out of this movie that which kind of hamper the story. I think it kind of moves too quickly in certain por certain parts. I think what it's trying to do is a little a little all over the place to be fairly honest that's why i keep harkening back to like la confidential because you know it starts out one way and you kind of know where the central story is going but as it moves along it just keeps building and building and building to a point where it's just fun and entertaining once again that just doesn't happen here and i will say this movie is gorgeous to look at you know similar to like all neil jordan's films his his view of like the world and how he shoots with the cinematographer and you know dp and stuff like that there's there's no love loss here with like how good it looks i think it's really great looking i think but it just it comes down 
down to just the story writing. You know, this is a story by William Monaghan, who, of course, won an Oscar for The Departed. So there is a lot of that um, very dark, mature content, very violent content, because this movie is very violent. I just think in the end, when it comes down to the central mystery in the story, I just don't think it's that interesting. I, I think, you know, when you put characters in it that have actors and actresses that are fun, I just think when you boil it down to, like, it's nuts and bolts, I think it's just a very bland storytelling aspect. And once again, maybe the book's like this. I don't know. But I feel like the the Raymond Chandler books or the Raymond Chandler stories, the Humphrey Bogart, Bogart movies and stuff like that, had a much more uh, much more nuance to their storytelling than what this has. But once again, it doesn't make this a bad movie. It's an entertaining movie. It just I feel like this could have been much more punched up in its storytelling, much more punched up in its kind of writing and ideas where it just doesn't deliver. So, but with that said, to kind of end it there, uh, the movie's fine. It's good. It's entertaining. It's not gonna like ruin your day if you watch it for an hour and fifty minutes. I think it's. You know, a movie that d definitely, you know, has its moments of fun, has its moments of intrigue and neo-noirism and stuff like that. And it's very beautiful to look at. It's a very gorgeous movie. But I think in the end, I just wanted more out of it. That's that's to be fairly honest. It's not going to go on any worst list. It's not going to go on any best list. It's going to be a movie that you'll probably forget about in a year. But I think, you know, you'll go back and watch if you see it on like a streaming service or something. So, but with that said, that is going to be my take of this film, which is Marlowe. Once again, based off the Raymond Chandler uh, fictional character. Uh, with that said, thank you so much for watching. Uh, uh, comments below did you see this movie what do you think overall what's your favorite philip marlowe character story all that good stuff but otherwise if you like what you see on this channel hit the subscribe button to join movie emporium hit that notification bell top the phone is coming next if you like this video awesome hit that like button and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video peace out